What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? I'm fresh out the shower, fresh out your mother, and I'm ready to play in some makeup today. Alright, so in today's video, girl, what are we gonna do today? We are gonna dive in and play with a lot of new makeup. Now, I buy so much makeup. I think you guys know that by now, but I just want to sit down here, hang out, chat, try a bunch of shit on, and see what happens. I have accumulated a lot of makeup over the last few months. There's a lot here. Before we jump into anything makeup related, I want to quickly announce that I am doing a giveaway, and yes, the giveaway is in today's video. So what does that mean? Well, five lucky winners are going to be picked from this one, and what are we giving away? Two lucky winners will each get a thousand dollar gift card for Delta, so if you want to fly to see your boyfriend that you met on Instagram, if you want to fly to see your mom in Texas, or you just want to travel somewhere because you can and you deserve a vacation, this will be for you. So I will be giving away two of these to two people, and then three lucky people will each get $500 in gift certificates to Sephora. Hi, new makeup, what's up? What are the rules? You guys, you know I like to keep it simple on this channel, nothing crazy. All you gotta do is be subscribed to my channel and leave a comment down below and just say hi, how are you, fuck off, suck a dick, I love makeup, I don't care what you say, just sound off below. All right, let's dive into the video. How are you guys? First of all, how are you? It's been a crazy day, it's been a crazy week, it's been a crazy January. Is January over yet? Thank God it is. Okay, let's just plan some makeup. Now here's the kicker, you guys. <laughs> I got a lot of shit on my desk here. I have three primers. I wish you all were in front of me to pick and do a poll, but uh, we can't do that today. We have this new primer I found on Sephora called the Beauty Filter Cream Glow. I mean, the name itself makes me want to try it. And then we have a Pore Perfecting Primer from Lancer. We have a Guerlain Blurring Active Base. Soothing and Blurring Effect. You guys know I love the soothing. But this one caught my eye because it says that it also provides coverage and brightening to the skin tone. I don't know what the fuck that's supposed to mean, but I kind of want to find out. So this is from a brand called Sun and Park. I've actually never heard of this brand before, so this is kind of cool and interesting. Um, so the packaging looks like this. It comes in a little jar. It actually feels heavy. It appears to be glass. It feels expensive, which is nice. And when you open it, it comes with this little guy, which I'm sure is the spatula, of course, to remove the product. Now, I don't really care about these. I'm just gonna use my finger, because girl, my hands are clean. Mmm. This reminds me of like an ocean vacation. Let's prime the skin and see what the hell happens. This feels a little tacky, which is great because we all know the foundation's gonna stick um, nice. Now, I'm a little confused by the box. Y'all know this is about to be a real first impressions. It says that it is, once it's absorbed into the skin, providing coverage and brightening. I mean, I guess it's a little glowy. It also says, caution, if skin develops abnormal symptoms and side effects, such as red spots, swelling, and itching, while using this product, please discontinue use. I hope that doesn't happen to me. So let's dive into some foundation. Now there's a lot of foundations that just um, dropped recently. First of all, we're gonna use the new Beauty Blender teal color, of course. I mean, if there's even a new beauty sponge, it's going in today's video. Oh my God, you guys, I forgot. There's so much, like there's just so many products sitting here. I'm kind of shook. So Hourglass recently put out the Vanish Flash Highlighting Sticks. Okay, girl, the packaging's so cute. You guys know I love the foundation. So I've seen people put this on before their foundation and I'm always kind of like, does that really work? I mean, you're literally covering it, but it may give us a little glow and you never know. So you can use this, of course, as a highlighter. We're gonna put it on our face before the foundation and let's see what happens. I'm gonna take this actually, let's just blend it in a little bit. I've seen people do this with the foundation. I'm just gonna do this for fun. I know a lot of you are like, girl, what the hell are you even thinking today? Moving on, what shade was that? Cause I don't want you guys to hurt me. Okay, this is Gold Flash, like that name. Foundation, there is a new um, formula from Dior, of course, and it is called the Dior Skin Forever Undercover 24 Hour Wear Full coverage, fresh, weightless foundation. High pigment and water-based. Okay, let's do this. So I bought four shades and I am going to be mixing 10 and 14 today. I'm not sure how full coverage this is. It says it is, but you know I'm a full coverage bitch. So let's just mix and match. Let's see how this goes on. Ooh, is that a lot? I don't know, we'll see in a minute. I'm a little shocked. This foundation looks 
really nice. It's like kind of luminous, maybe it's the primer, maybe it's the highlighting stick, but whatever this combo is, I'm definitely liking it. This foundation is really pretty. For concealer, I literally have nothing new. I know there's the new Makeup Revolution concealers that everyone's been talking about. Definitely have to order those, but for now, I'm like, what do I have that's like the latest? Mm. We'll go in with the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer, BAM! It looks like this, and I've used this in a few videos, really loving it. It is a very full coverage, very brightening, and you don't need a lot of product. This is one of those formulas where you can like dot it on like this, you're all good, you don't need to put on like 50 layers. Now this is a little bit of a quick drying foundation, so sometimes I like to take a little artiste brush and just really go in quickly before it dries. Or you could do Beauty Blender, it doesn't matter, but this really lays it down quick. I am doing a beauty blender on this side because see it was already like quick dry so literally you can do like one side blend, one side blend because this formula likes to set very quickly which I don't mind because once it sets bitch it ain't moving. Now we're gonna finish brightening this face girl. So now we are blended to perfection. We definitely got to set this damn full coverage concealer. I don't have any new setting powders either. I really have been sticking to like what I stick to. So for the hundredth time on this channel, I'm gonna go in with my La Mer The Powder, one of the best setting powders on the planet. Um, and it's just my go-to, I can't stop. You guys know the drill. We're gonna take our damp beauty blender and go right in and just press this into the skin. So I'm gonna dust this off. I'm also gonna even set it again for the 10th time with this La Mer Soft Powder. I love this. It's literally like probably that in a compact form, but it's sheer and it just feels so nice. All right, now I am so excited to dive into the next few items. So we are going to use the new Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. Look at the packaging, so cute. Now when you open this up, you see that there are three creams up top and then three powders. The creams up top are covered by a window so debris and stuff won't really get in there and then the powders are here. So instead of doing severe contour, I'm gonna do what I used to do in the MySpace days and do blush for contour and just really take it there and see how good this formula is. Now this blush cream, I think we should try it with the Beauty Blender of course. I love doing cream products with sponges so we're just gonna go in. There's pigment on that sponge. Let's see what happens. We're just gonna... <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, I'm like excited. Now, I'm not really into cream blushes. You guys know I barely use these on my channel. Now this will probably help the highlighter stick more as well because you know powders and shimmers, glimmers, glitters love a base like this. So I am down. Now we're gonna go into the glow cream base. I'm literally gonna take the same sponge and let's put this on. This is more on the sheer side, but I think when the powder goes over this, it's gonna be like amazing. I'm hoping. Okay, so I actually just got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy brand new highlighter that drops soon. So I think we gotta do one side highlighter with Natasha and one side with this one. Look at how pretty this is. The packaging is so cute. You open it up and look at that glowy wave. This packaging is so pretty. Now I guess this is allegedly a new gel-like powder formula that has zero fallout. This shade is called Highlighter. No, <laughs> I think there's literally only one shade for their collab. It says, an illuminating powder with an ultra smooth formula and radiant finish. P.S. Congrats, Amra. This is so sickening. And we gotta try it on the side of my face. So let's do this palette first, and then we'll dip into that real quickly. I wanna go into this diamond powder here. There's powder blush, so maybe we can do that as well. Fuck it, we gotta do it. So let's go in here, and let's just press a little bit of blush into the skin. Oh, girl, I'm going heavy on that fucking blush, fuck it. So let's dive in on this side. Let's push the hair back and let's see how the glow is going to look. Now it says diamond powder and then glow extreme. So I'm like, okay, let's dip into all of them. Let's do the diamond powder here. Let's see what this is going to look like. Ooh. Okay, 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 Natasha, I see you, girl. And then we're gonna dip into the glow extreme. Okay, she is really cute, very almost wet-like, and I am living. 
Let's move on to the Amrezy Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration highlighter. This is so pretty. I'm looking at it like, ah. Oh. I gotta touch this with my finger. That's what I've been dying to do since I just got this. Like, hi. Oh. oh. Okay, literally no fallout. Let's go in with the brush. And yeah, there's like no fallout. Weird. Okay, let's see how this looks. Wow. Girl! The light is just like capturing that moment. Like I feel like I'm in the desert with Amra right now smoking a blunt. And bitch, this shit is everything. Natasha, I love you, girl. This is sickening. And then it's like, I don't know. This is just like smoother. The texture is just like very wet, but like, mmm. Let's keep it moving. The next item that I wanna do is, oh my God, okay. I am so excited for this. Let's go directly to eyes, girl. We're highlighted, we have a moment. We're not contouring, but we're gonna survive it. Now, oh, first of all, let's just take a look at this packaging. We are going to dive in and play with the brand new Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 4 eyeshadow palette. The packaging alone was just, mm, mm, like stunning. This eyeshadow palette is very heavy. It's luxurious. It feels amazing. Even before opening it, I'm like, ah. The packaging is very innovative. So I already undid it, you guys, obviously. A lot of you saw me swatch this on Snapchat and everyone was like, where's the video? Play with it. I'm sorry, I'm here. So when you open it, you get this, and it just looks like a piece of art. It's like unreal. Now the shade names are in here with all the ingredients, which is cool, so there's that. So here is the Mothership 4 palette. The packaging is so heavy, it's full on like, you feel like you bought like a little art piece. I love this, it's very minimalistic and stunning. Now when you open it up, you do get 10 eyeshadows and the pan sizes are very nice. So we're just gonna go full on alien and create a really cool look with this palette. I love the colors by the way. That blue over here, that gold right here, I'm like, don't play me. All right, now of course I prime my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot in every video. So let's just slather this on my lid. We're just gonna go ham here and try out some looks. So let's go into Lapis Luxury. This shade, and if I'm saying this wrong, I am so sorry, you guys. We're gonna, gonna dive in with this little brush and we're just gonna go right in here. Now, oh, I'm <laughs> like, hi! I'm just gonna pack this on my lid and see what happens because I'm feeling this blue fantasy. So I'm just gonna pack this on the lid. Oh, wow. These like smell good. It's almost like vanilla or like cream brulee. Hmm. Now we're going to dive into this shade up here called Underworld, and we're just gonna take a little blending brush right here. I'm just going to flick up and out a little bit, and we're just gonna go like this. I love this look. I'm like, mmm, yummy. Now I think I'm going to dip in... I don't know yet, you guys. I'm nervous. Divine Mink is speaking to me. Like, this one is everything, you guys. I'm just gonna take this brush just a little bit. Oh, yeah, girl. Give me the pigment. And I'm gonna just blend it in here and just give it kind of a little... I'm literally just taking this and, like, smudging it up. Like, oh. <gasps> Oof. Girl. All right, now I just gotta get the inner corner out of the way. I've been dying to play with this gold standard shade, so let's just hit this a few times. These don't need any Fix Plus. These literally need a brush, which is shocking. So I'm gonna just tuck this right in here and layer it over the blue and then drag it in the inner corner. Oh my God, girl. The gold is looking flawless. Now I'm gonna take my little MAC Smolder eye pencil and quickly do some Black liner in the waterline. Right, now I'm gonna go in with a little pencil brush and dip into blue blood. And we're just going to dab this along the lash line and then add a little bit of more drama to complete this eye look. Just to be really extra, we're gonna dip into this beautiful shade right here. I mean, look at that color. I'm like, hi. And I'm literally just gonna barely touch it. We're just gonna kind of use this to smoke out and cause some drama right under here. And we're just gonna go like this. I'm feeling a little avant-garde right now. I'm feeling like I need to be on the runway. Ooh, I love the undertone. I actually wanna put this all over my whole lid. Damn, those blended together so pretty. 
Don't you love when you like get a palette and you're actually just like re-inspired to like play in your makeup? Like that's how I'm feeling right now. Now I think it's time for a little bit of lashes and some love. Now I do have this new Burberry mascara. What is this called y'all? This is the Jet Black Number One Burberry Cat Lashes. Now it looks like this of course and the wand when you pull it out, it is looking like this. Let me show you. Interesting. Now is this gonna work? Who the fuck knows what we're about to see. Let's coat our lashes. At first it feels a little weird, but like, it worked good actually, like, easy peasy. This mascara, I'm like, damn, this shit is cute. My bottom lashes look really nice and full. I know we're about to cover the top with lashes, but I'm actually really impressed. I know Burberry is a little on the pricey side as well, but bitch, you know I'm a luxury hoe, and this was great. Now, we need some lashes. Now, I don't really have any new lashes that just hit the market, but girl, I got this House of Lashes Pro Edition Lash Story Book. This has probably been sitting in my makeup room for months. <laughs> when you open it up, you get the glue. Which ones do we want to do today? <gasps> ooh, girl, look at them Cecile's though. Like, uh, ooh, what, Siren? All right, I'm just gonna pull out a random pair. This Siren looks really pretty right here. And let's just see how they look. Actually, that pair was not dramatic enough. So we're gonna go in with this lash in Cecile. And I think this will be a little more like, ugh. I'm gonna go in with the House of Lash Glue, which I really think I've used it a few times, but it's been a minute. So we're just gonna coat the entire lash band. All right, let's see how these ones look. The lashes are on, they're pretty, they're dramatic, and I think they fit perfect with this look. We're almost to the finish line. Now, there's some things I actually forgot to use, which I'm kind of mad at myself. I had this eye cream to use. This is literally a banana bright eye cream with vitamin C, with collagen. I'll have to try this tomorrow morning. Um, I'm looking at what else I had. I had a new moisturizer. Oh no, Nicole used this on me. Bobby Brown, okay, sorry, this is not an ad. Ooh, this new setting spray. I have seen this everywhere in Ulta. This is the facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender, baby. Oh, it just like wakes you up. All right, now lip. Ooh, I'm excited about lip. Now, if you guys thought Pat McGrath was gonna slay with the eye, I know I reviewed her lipsticks on my channel where she just released a whole new spring collection, so I'm like, we're gonna do more Pat. Now, I do have some lip glosses from Guerlain. Maybe we'll throw on top, but girl. Pat McGrath made a lip balm, and at first I'm like, girl, okay, like, you better slow it down. But the packaging wins me over every time. So this lip balm, looks like this. And I kind of love the bullet form. Instead of just like a normal chapstick, this one is like ultra hydrating. Let's try it. I'm like, it smells so yummy. Okay, now I thought it was gonna be kind of like waxy. It's so smooth. It's like, oh, it's so hydrating. Okay, hmm. I'm like, this is going into my purse immediately. Anyway, so lipsticks. Girl, I got every color. First of all, just like the eyeshadow, it comes in this really cool packaging. So you literally unravel it. It's so bougie and amazing. Like, I'm obsessed. You open it up. It's like its own little case. Voila! Here we are. Now, what shade is this? Ooh! Do you guys like that one? This one is Modern Woman. Okay, or we have Soft Core. Look how matte and pretty they look. Like, I'm done. Or we have a peep show. Ooh, this is like a lighter nude. What do we do, you guys? God, they all look pretty. I'm like, you can't lose. I kind of am feeling this one. Okay, so we're gonna go in with peep show. All right, let's give a little whirl with this color. I'm like, yes, girl. Yes. I love it, like this color. What a stunning nude. And with the look, I mean, I think the eyes are so out of this world, you definitely need a nude lipstick. All right, you guys, we are ready for some setting spray. I know I already used this on me, which is very new, but what else do I have that's new? I don't really have like a setting spray. I mean, I'm sure you guys have all seen this. I love this stuff. Oh, it has the best fragrance. Who else has ever used this? I'm gonna botch the saying of this, so I'm not even gonna try it, but it is a beauty elixir, and they um, have a smaller version. I went through like five of them, so I'm like, girl, I just need the big dog. <sighs> and it even says to do the back of your neck. Oh, so calming. All right, you guys, this makeup is set. All right, just because I have my chest exposed here a little bit, 
I want to try this. I've been dying to. This is the new Cover FX Glitter Drops in shade Aurora. Look at the glitter in that bottle. Like, hi, I can't. Now, I reviewed the custom enhancer drops maybe a year ago on my channel. So now they have a glitter formula. Oh my god, yes. First of all, we're gonna put this right on Kurt Cobain's face. P.S. I have hair on my chest so everyone can just relax. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Yes, disco ball. Look at that. I'm d I'm done. All right, you guys. This look is officially complete. I definitely think we need to give our final thoughts and see what stood out and what flopped. <laughs> it's been a long journey, y'all. We tried a lot of makeup today. I'm looking at my desk. It's a disaster. What stood out? Obviously, I am such an eye and lip person. So, Pat McGrath, you really killed it with this palette. Woo, Lord Jesus. I cannot wait to see what you come out with next. P.S. When are you gonna do my makeup, girl? Moving on, I can still smell this in the air. I'm obsessed with it. I actually really like the mascara. I was shocked. Usually mascara doesn't really stand out to me. I'm like, yeah, I've tried them all. But this one is really pretty, especially for under the eye. Lived for it. Also, hi, the foundation. Let's talk about that. It's been like an hour and a half, probably. I had to take a break. I took my dogs out. So it's been a minute and the skin looks really good. I'm like, wow. So I will definitely have to try out this foundation in another video or even just in my everyday wear, but so far, so good. And the primer. I'm like, did the primer really do something? Cause I feel like it did. Beauty filter cream. This may be sickening. So let me try it over the next few days and give you the real tea. But so far it made the foundation lay amazing. Besides that, you guys, I want you to uh, not forget about the giveaway. Hi. Um, if you forgot the rules, <laughs> go back to the intro, but make sure to enter the giveaway. And I will be announcing the winners on Tuesday, February 6th. So come back and you will get a DM on Twitter or on Instagram. That is the easiest way to contact you guys. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I had so much fun playing around. I am just like so obsessed with makeup. This was a lot of fun. So I definitely got to start doing more of these this year. Woo! I'm winded. All right. I love you guys. I will see you on the next video. And look, with this look, where am I going to go tonight? Like, ugh, I got to go get banged or something. I love you guys. Mwah! See you on the next one.